No one got everything they wanted, including me. But that's what compromise is. President Biden addressing Americans on a new framework for social spending, but not before meeting with Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal of our state, whose progressive caucus would need to sign on. He said that what we do on these two bills is going to be determinative um, for how the world sees us. Before making any guarantees, she said progressives want to see the fine print. Look, the first step is we got to see the legislation. We do have some idea of what would be in the spending package and what wouldn't. Universal pre-K, expanded access to child care, extension of the child tax credit, and billions for climate change are likely in. Paid family leave and a path toward lower prescription drug prices could be out. Congressman Derek Kilmer of our state says the package would benefit his working class constituency from Tacoma to the coast, especially in cities that have persistently struggled economically. There's funding in this bill for a pilot program really focused on providing some long term assistance, 10 year assistance to help those communities develop and carry out economic development strategies and create jobs over the long term. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin and leaders from other U.S. cities joined a virtual event with Vice President Kamala Harris today to talk about the spending package, an all-out effort to sell the plan to the American people. Today, we have an opportunity to finish what we started, I believe, or at least to take it to the next step. But there's still the matter of the Senate and whether moderate Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema are both on board with the $1.75 trillion price tag. Congresswoman Jayapal says the president seemed hopeful, but not certain. He said he's confident he can get the votes. It wasn't, I think, it wasn't clear whether the two senators have committed to vote for it. Um, so, you know, look, I think it's a bit of a leap of faith um, in the president. That was Brandy Cruz reporting. And don't forget that the general election for the state of Washington is next week. Tuesday, November 2nd, is the day of the election. It's also the last day to submit your voter registration. You have to drop your ballot off in an official drop box by 8 p.m. We have more information on how to get your registration handled, how to get your ballot, and more on our website. Just go to fox13seattle.com and click on the election tab.